Also, I was thinking about Ursula asking the question at the very end last night. You were asking me the question about debts and and whether I I felt just guilty because of them or whatever, and it was motivated by guilt. And I said no, it was really the spirit undoing the pride. But then uh, Noel was talking to me today where she had this would this would be maybe not seen as a sickness symptom, but we could use relationship issues or health issues or anything, but. She was telling me today that she had a time in her life when she was $30,000 in debt. And it felt very, very heavy. And I said, oh, maybe you'll bring that up today for Ursula because, you know, that it's something that really strikes. So maybe you don't you're not, have a diagnosis or anything of cancer, but if you have a debt and you're feeling the burden and the weight, what did you do when you found yourself $30,000 in debt? So the, um, uh, yeah, the debt. Yeah, back to that, that lineage of causation. I experience debt as almost like this weight. I, I, every time I think about, oh God, 30,000 in debt, and actually it's a little more than 30,000, I, I would feel heavy, I would feel burdened by the weight of it. And then I began to go back in my mind, okay, if the cause, if that feeling of heaviness is not anything in the external, then I must be feeling heavy. <laughs> in other words, the weight was the internal feeling that I am deficient, I am guilty, I am lacking. And then the outpicturing of it that I dreamed up in my dreamscape was debt at that time. That the debt was not the cause of the weighty feeling, the weighty feeling was the cause of the debt. And in that, I just, I just got such a illuminated feeling of, I don't have a debt problem. You know, there is no problem out there, and so, and and it brought me so quickly into accessing those deeper feelings, and in doing that inner work, thirty th and and this was at a period where where. I had a brief period of very little income, so I did ha not have a lot coming in, and I also had a lot of debt. And through a series of three amazing miracles, my debt was cleared in eight months from that period of really meeting the internal belief in debt, in, in this, this feeling of obligated, that there's something wrong with me, and I owe it to God and everyone to make up for it to compensate for it, to deliver, to prove that I'm not that criminal who has done something terribly wrong. So, the undoing internal, boom, boom, boom. Very unexpected uh, avenues of financial support. Hugely unexpected, as a matter of fact. I mean, you could have fooled me that those would show up, and they did. So the, the external rearranged itself pretty quickly. So, so these are all great examples, but whether we're talking about what seems to be significant debt, that the ego will then go, ah, you, you should feel heavy, and you will feel heavy for a long time to come uh, to get out of this one. It's like you're not under, under a blanket here, you're under layers and layers of heavy rugs of of debt, and you see how it, ter it terrorizes the mind by projecting it out into the future, a very dark, dismal future. It's the same with relationship. If you've had extreme relationship difficulties, and you've had multiple partners, and lots of flare-ups and emotions, whatever, you have to start to say, wow, it's, it can't really be that these relationships are the problem. It just <coughs> means that they're part of a distraction for facing something inside. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and it's this causation thing that Noel was mentioning. The the basic underlying assumption underneath it is I've got problems and there are problems in the world, mm -hmm. and I'm going to have to do lots and lots of very complicated things to try to extract myself from a very 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 tangled mess. It's the way that it seems on the surface. And when you start to, to say, wait a minute, no, 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 this can't be that way. It must just be an invitation for me to go much, much deeper inside. And if I'm really willing to do that authentically, to go much, much deeper inside, the Spirit will give me the means of support. 
the people, the symbols, everything I need, if it's such a glorious purpose. Maybe I've been avoiding this looking inside for thousands of years, we'll say many lifetimes. Which can, when most people think of one lifetime, it can seem like a pretty long time. But when you think of thousands of years at avoiding a particular uh, solution of going inside, then once you have that insight, like with that 30,000 plus dead, it, it was gone in, in eight months, because there was such an intense focus on, on tapping into the feelings and what was below those feelings. And the little chart that she laid out, she was delighted to say, oh, this was like your, your little chart, your rings. It was very, very similar. It's like what that is, is in her sense, the heart speaking, giving her intuitively a map of the mind or a map of consciousness and saying, okay, you've got to get your causation straight. You know, what you seem to have or do or perceive is really the bottom of the line. It's really the end point. It's not the causation at all. And you see how different that is from the typical human belief that, oh, I would be much happier if I didn't have this dad, if I didn't have these symptoms, if I didn't have, you know, that's what much of your life was, mm -hmm. thinking, if I just see the right specialist and I can just be lifted from this specific problem, that will make my life so much more easy. And yet, it's just, the ego is like, okay, you find a temporary uh, solution there, it just, it just shifts over here, try this one then, or try this one, or try this one.